Performing in front of a large crowd isn't everyone's cup of tea. Just ask Fort Madison High School jazz band trumpeter Caleb Stuker Jurgen, who struggled with his nerves before performing his first set. It was kind of scary just because I don't, I'm not very good at playing in front of people. Stuker Jurgen joins hundreds of students from throughout the tri states in the annual competition, filling the auditoriums with the sound of their fledgling talent. It's good to play in front of people. To, and to hear other jazz bands so we can know what we can improve on. Each performance lasted only 15 to 30 minutes, but every group left an impact on the judges. It's fantastic, and everyone's working together, and you see the smiles on the faces, and they walk away looking at each other going, hey, really nice job. Since Quincy Senior High School hosted the event, none of its choirs or bands were allowed to compete for a trophy. That didn't stop Quincy Senior High varsity singers from putting on a vibrant performance. I think we did really well. We performed three songs, and we were all very energetic, and I think the audience liked it. After each performance, judges critiqued the musicians and gave tips on how to improve their routines. They're learning from these very recognized clinicians who are going to help them be better musicians and to, you know, make them become better performers as well. Quincy Public School Director of Music Education Kathy Dooley organized the event and helped bring all of the singers and instrumentalists to Quincy. She says the competition is designed to give students a chance to shake their nerves in live performances. They go through the process of doing all the hard work. They have a, a they get a back a lot and they feel really good about themselves because of the hard work that they have done. Stuker Jurgen says even if his band comes in last place, he's happy to have heard many other talented young musicians perform. And we did pretty good. Um, our solos were pretty good, and we sounded good overall, I think. Derek Frank, KHQA News, Quincy.